Thought for the day, brothers and sisters, today is reading the book of First Chronicles, chapter 14, where verses 9 to 12, we read that the Philistines, the enemies of God's people, came to attack. King David gains victory over these people by doing two things. Number one, he sought the Lord, guidance from, from God. And secondly, he destroyed all the goods of the Philistines. Today, I wanted to speak about how we can destroy the Philistines in our life. Our battle is not with people like David had here. David was a man of war. He was a king. We as Christians are battling a spiritual warfare. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 to 5 speak of that. But we have to ask ourselves and examine our hearts. What is our Philistine that we're battling today? A big Philistine today is fear, anxiety, and worry. I remember in 1976, when I was a young boy, there was a movie by uh, the name of the, it was called The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. It was with John Travolta. And this boy, young man, lived in a bubble. He had an autoimmune deficiency problem and he wanted to stay away from germs. So he built a little bubble to live in. And it's kind of prophetic for the way we're living today in America. We all live in our little bubbles today, whether it's with technology, the phone, breakdown of family, relationships and communication, coronavirus. And oftentimes when things happen in our lives, we seek counsel within ourselves. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14 says, trouble comes to us when we don't seek counsel from other people, godly people. But in the multitude of counsel, there's protection their safety. But first and foremost, we go to God. God will not share his glory with anyone else. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8 tells us that. We are not to worship money, the things of this world. Anything we put before God is an idol and we are to get away from it as 1 John chapter 5 verse 21 tells us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 24, you cannot serve God and money. So first and foremost, when things come in our lives, Philistines or giants and uh, spiritual warfare we have, whether it's greed, anger, lust, idolatry, putting things before God, pride, uh, malice, wanting evil on other people, uh, unforgiveness, bitterness, you name it, whatever it is you're struggling with, my friends, first and foremost, go to the Lord. Christ himself in Mark chapter 1, verse 35 we are told he got up early in the morning, like I do, and sought the Lord in prayer at a mountain when it was still dark. Oftentimes we wake up as Christians, we put on our Twitter feed, the news feed, to see what's going on in the world, listen to music, see what the sports team did, what politicians are up to. We cloud our minds with the things of this world, and then we want to know why our walk with God is cloudy. Put God first. Secondly, David destroyed the, the goods that these Philistines had. A lot of the kings before David failed because they would defeat the enemies of God, but they wanted the, the goods of these people, their possessions. We are not to be so entrapped with the things of this world. Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 tells us to set our minds on things above, not on the things of this earth. Too often Christians are too earthly minded to be of any, any heavenly good. In Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33, we read of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ walking on the sea, on the water. Peter is on a boat, he's in a boat, and he says to Jesus, can I come out there and be with you on the water? Jesus said, come. And Peter's walking on the water. Well, what happened to Peter was, in verse 30 of Matthew chapter 14, is that he took his eyes off of Jesus and started to look at the waves and the currents and he started to sink and he cried out to Jesus, save me, help me. And Christ, who's always compassionate, did. You see, our problem is, is when we take our eyes off of Jesus and start to look at our circumstances, that's when we get into trouble. We are called to be holy people. As 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 15 and 16 tells us, holiness is so important Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 tells us that without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Basically, holiness means being set apart from the world, sin, and living for the Lord. 
in Romans chapter 6. I encourage you to read that chapter, especially the first couple of verses. The Apostle Paul speaks about how if we're saved by God's grace, how can we go on sinning? We are not to go on sinning. We are to be put to death sin. We're to mortify, put to death the deeds of the flesh and live for Christ. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, the Apostle Paul would go on to say, I don't live, but it's Christ who lives in me. My friends today, we need to put on the Lord. Put him on first. We all have troubles. We all have struggles in life. Alexander McLaren was a Christian theologian. He was born in 1826. He died in 1910. He used to say that God will often put us on a path or a road full of rocks and stones, but he will always provide shoes to protect our feet. In this life, we're going to have troubles. I'm walking right now in a wooded area, and I know that there's snow, it's moisture, a lot of moisture, it's cold, but I have waterproof boots on that are protecting my feet. And God will protect us. That doesn't mean the snow will go away in our lives and the troubles will go away. No. Psalm 34 verse 19 tells us that many of the afflictions are the righteous, but God will deliver us from them all. Job in the Old Testament knew much about trouble. In Job chapter 14 verse 1, we are told, man born of a woman is a, is a few years and many troubles. Life is going to hit us, my friends. But when you have God as your anchor, you'll be protected. You'll be strong. You'll be solid in your walk with the Lord. Nothing will move you. And I hope today's devotional video will encourage us all to seek God first in our lives. Try to stay away from the distractions of this world. When you're dealing with fear and anxiety or whatever it is that you're dealing with, don't live in your own little bubble. But go to the Lord first and also to other Christians that could help you. For iron sharpens iron. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. Remind us, O oh Lord God, that we can defeat the Philistines in our lives. The enemies of our heart and mind that try to take us away from you. The idols, the, the bitterness, the, the anger, the lust, the fornication, sexual immorality, whatever it is, Lord God, pride. But help us to put you on first. As we're told in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and everything else shall be added unto us. Forgive us, Lord God, when we try to do things in our own, our own way. But draw us back to you. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all today, my friends.